guys. Uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at National College of Ireland. Uh, and in this short video, I want to just demonstrate how to convert a scaled variable, uh, a scaled variable defined in SPSS, uh, into a categorical variable, and more importantly, into an ordinal categorical variable. And um, before I get to SPSS, I just want to motivate this with a particular example. Let's say, for argument's sake, that we have a variable that we measured uh, exam grade. Okay. Uh, it doesn't have to be discrete values, okay? It could be, these could be uh, real numbers, they could be uh, decimals to a certain precision, uh, but let's just keep them discrete at this particular stage. And what I'd like to do is here I've got, uh, in, the, in the exam grade column, I've got basically, I've got 173 observations. So I have 173 individuals' exam grades. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to, instead of having these exam grades in SPSS, so I've taken these exam grades, uh, I have them in SPSS here, so they're just listed down here as a variable in SPSS. I'd like to convert them into categories. Uh, now I've already, I already know my categories that I'd like to convert the the, the exam scores to. Uh, I have got a, a video in Excel that shows you how to actually create the categories by going through the identifying, I suppose, how many categories we should have, uh, identifying uh, the widths of the the widths of the classes themselves, and how to construct that. But I mean, I've I've actually walked through that already. Uh, and what I have is, for my 173 observations, uh, I figured out that I need to have eight classes. Uh, the first class is starts with the lower bound, the minimum value in the data set, uh, and the upper bound of the first class is to 33. So it goes the first class is from 24 to 33, the second class from 33 to 42, then from 42 to 51, and so on and so forth, all the way through. The important thing here is the convention that I'm, I'm going to use here is this, is that an observation is going to fall in a class uh, only if it's greater than or equal to the lower bound and specifically less than the upper bound. So the bounds here, the lower bound, upper bound is inclusive of the lower bound and excludes the upper bound. That just adds a little bit more, I suppose, let's say, <clears throat> a little bit more difficulty when it comes to SPSS uh, in relation to defining these these particular bounds because SPSS doesn't allow you to uh, define the bounds specifically uh, as inclusive of the lower and excluding the upper. Uh, and I'll just show you what it allows you to do. So I'm going into SPSS here. I already know my classes that I want. I have eight classes uh, and I've got the lower and the upper bounds all defined here. Uh, so assuming you've already got that done, I just want to go into SPSS now and I want to convert this variable exam grade into a categorical variable of exam grades. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to transform and I'm going to say recode into different variables. Okay. I'm going to take exam grade and I'm going to just pull that across into this window. Uh, so the numeric variable that I want to record is called exam grade, and that's going to be taken to an output variable. And I'm going to give the output variable a name, and let's say this is exam grade categorical. Yeah, okay, exam grade, let's say ordinal, or ordin, ordin, ordinal, and I'm going to hit change. So you can see it's actually setting up a new variable name here for me. So it's going to convert exam grade and convert all of those all of those observations in the exam grade variable uh, to exam grade ordinal uh, and it's going to do that mapping across but I need to specify the values and where the values go so I'm going to hit on old and new values now the thing about SPSS is SPSS doesn't allow you it allows you to define the ranges uh, of the values of the classes themselves the first the first range here uh, is inclusive of the lower bound and excludes the up and, and also inclusive of the upper bound so if these were discrete values there's no problem but if it's continuous we have a, we have a particular issue so the way we're going to get around that is we're going to force SPSS to I suppose let's say is to is to we're going to encode the first the last class as my first class then the second to last class as my second class and so on and so forth so I'm going to put them in in reverse order uh, and then I'm going to reorder I'm going to reorder my data set okay and this is just a solution for creating uh, inclusive exclusive class boundaries and what I'm going to say is this is I'm going to go to my last class first of all and I'm going to specify the range the the minimum value in my file in my last class let's just maybe let me just cancel this here cancel let me just minimize my s my spss uh, let's just minimize that here let me go back up here oops and let's just minimize so that we can actually see uh, my excel sheet so i'm just going to pull this across here 
Let me get rid of this output window. It's just so that we can actually see our classes. So I'm going to start with my last class. And the lower bound of my last class is, eight, is 87. So I'm going to go in here to SPSS. I'm going to go to transform. Recode into different variables. The variable is exam grade. I'm going to give it a new name. I'm going to say exam grade ordinal to create an ordinal variable. I'm going to hit change. And then I'm going to say old values to new values. And what I'm going to put in first is the range here, the value, which is the, my last range, is going to start at 87. And it's going to go through to the largest, through to the highest value. And I'm going to give that a value. I'm going to say that this is my, well, this is my eighth class. So I'm going to add that one in first. I'm going to hit add. Okay. So this is my eighth class. So this should get a coding. Anybody that has a value between 87 or above should get a coding of an eight. Uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my next range is the lowest value true to a value. Okay. So I'm then going to say, I'm going to then say my next range is, excuse me, is from 78 to 87. So I'm going to now say from 78 and above, uh, I'm going to give that a value of 7. I'm going to hit add on.